Welcome to Cooking for Baby and Me. Today's featured ingredient is peas, and we'll be making seared tenderloin of beef with curry pea volite and curry pea pasta. This sounds amazing. Let's mm -hmm. get started. Right away, first thing I want to do is, you know, if we're going to use the peas to eat, I do like to cook them out. I'm going to work on our curry right now. Okay. So we have a little bit of soybean oil. You can use grapeseed oil as well. Some onions. And then we have ginger. This is a little bit of uh, Thai red curry paste. Okay. okay. Is that spicy? Easily, uh, little bit, a little bit, tiny. But well, you, you could probably alter much. how much you put in. Exactly, exactly. Do you suggest giving your kids a little bit of spice? I think a little bit of flavor is okay. You know, as children get introduced to new kinds of flavors, they'll develop a palate for those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. And you just put in some... Some coconut milk. And then we're going to throw these peas in directly. Okay. Okay. We're going to take our garnish here. So that wasn't very long. I Not mean, at all. That very quick. Cooked for about mm -hmm. a minute or two. Mm -hmm. I use the water because that's just pea stock. Nice. Oh, no waste. Like vegetable yeah. stock. Yep, exactly. So exactly. we'll let that cook out. And It'll peas be... are very high in protein, mm -hmm. correct? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think, you know, sometimes kids just get in a regimen of just eating one kind of thing. So you want to find ways to have recipes that have different kinds, different colored foods, different textured foods in there. We're going to do the sear the tenderloin. So we're going to use more oil. Yeah. This is coming together so quickly. Mm -hmm. So here we're going to take, take this. And, and these ingredients oh. are found in any local grocery mm -hmm. store. Yeah. yeah, you can do this. Um, I really enjoy going to like some specialty stores like Indian stores, things yeah. like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a good idea to take your kids with you, get them involved yep. in the process of picking oh, out the fun. food that they'll be eating. Yep, so we got this. We're going to blend this. Okay. So here's our peas. Can this be one of the first foods you introduce to your child? Sure. Infants, usually around six months of age, we're starting to introduce okay. those types of things. And so um, certainly not a whole pea because that would be a, a texture that they may not be um, okay. able to take without choking. But okay. you could certainly do that by Mash um, just up. mashing them down a little bit and yeah. letting them get used to that. I love giving vegetables first before the sweetness of fruits mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so that it really lets them enjoy and appreciate the flavors that vegetables have. I think that's a good idea. So now for the kids in this pan that's hot Same already. Pan. I like it. Let's clean up. Mm -hmm. exactly. Got this. Take a little of the pasta. That was a really easy sauce to make mm -hmm. on your own. Mm -hmm. Get this ready for the kids. Okay. We have our sauce, our peas, which I kind of like, even though they're cooked right now, I like to, again, we're still using the only ingredients that we made. So okay. we're going to take a little bit of this, mix it in. You know, since it's in the spring, you know, you got your garden working with your coriander, you know, parsley is also a good alternative as well. And, and again, that's something you can grow in your own backyard and the kids can yeah. even help with that to go out and pick some uh, oh, yes. Yeah, it's some garnish. Garni gardening uh, and kids and, you know, having them see where the food's coming mm -hmm. from is, in, you know, it's invaluable. I think the it? more they're involved with the planning of the meal, the more likely mm -hmm. they're going to eat that it. That looks yeah. stunning. Absolutely. Wonderful. Beautiful. Let's take Thanks. a bite. Let's start with the pasta. Oh, okay. absolutely. Let's have a knife. So, oh. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. mm. So it's not over overpowered spice, but it's delicious. just enough. Delicious, yeah. And the coconut milk really helps a lot, quite a bit. Delicious, mm -hmm. nice and creamy. Mm -hmm. And the peas actually sweeten it up as well. That's true. That's really, really Let's good. Let's try the, the tenderloin. Okay. okay. Make sure you get some peas nice with peas, it. Absolutely. Your vitamins, your mm -hmm. protein, a little extra with this tenderloin. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to recommend that to my mm -hmm. families. Mm -hmm.